Only one person now stands between us and our first ranking event final of the season. The Wizard of Wishaw, John Higgins. Hello there everyone and welcome to episode 25 of the Neil Robertson Pro Career on Snooker 19. And today we play a best of five frames like it has been all tournament long in the semi-final, the last four. Potentially the last or maybe the penultimate game we play in this tournament. It's going to be the toughest one yet. To get to this point, we've beaten Kyron Wilson by three frames to two. We have beaten Jack Lazowski by three frames to one. We had a clean sheet against Graham Dot and won three frames to nil and also came through a decider against Ken Doherty. Four very big names to get through to get to this point and that continues today beyond doubt against the biggest player we have played yet in the career mode full stop. The Wizard of Wishaw, John Higgins. Of course, the reenactment of the match that happened in real life for the quarterfinals of the World Snooker Championship. And of course, it is the losing finalist of the World Championship final that we are playing here. The Wizard of Wishaw, John Higgins. If I can get through this video by just saying John Higgins rather than The Wizard of Wishaw, John Higgins, I'll do very well. But, hello everyone. Uh, I hope you all doing well today. It should be a fantastic match this should. I'm really looking forward to it and to be fair there isn't really much to lose. We haven't been to this stage of a tournament before. It's not a new experience for Neil Robertson of course being a world champion but it is a new experience for us in this game. Oh god John Higgins doesn't look very good does he? But uh, ah well. But it's uncharted territory for us. This is a semi-final in an event playing a player that's uh, in the top four, again, uncharted territory. But we'll give it our best. We'll play with no fear, like we have against anybody else. And we'll see how we get on. And potentially this could be our first pot. He hit the blue on the break. And uh, let's just be fair, that wasn't really the best play to start. But it's a big risk. If this doesn't go in, then we go straight into the pack. But it's a risk I'm willing to take. This would be a very positive start and a fantastic start if the cue ball hit the red and went in. And it has. It would be even better if we got there. position on the black. Now we don't, but luckily the Reds have broken quite nicely and that we can get to the balls uh, further up the table. Uh, can we take the pink on? Probably the green's probably the best option here. Yeah, I'll take the green quite happily. Playing with top spin means you don't have to hit it with so much power. Could miss this and this could be pretty uh, disastrous, but it's fine. It's right in the middle of the pocket. And the Reds are quite nicely spread actually. So we could make a good break to start off this match. So John not with the best break really there. Of course we all know John's a very good break builder. And good in long matches. Oh dear. That was a clanger. Well... I know we said we've got nothing to lose, therefore we've got no nerves, but goodness me, One. that was a howler. And imagine if we did that in a decider. I'm so glad we've done that now just to shrug off the nerves. But we possibly just hit that one a little bit too hard. It hit both of the jaws. Didn't go a little bit unlucky there, it has to be said. But now we can see how good Higgins break building is. Now, the last time I, I, I made a bold claim of saying, oh, it's going to be a century. The, fr the break finished on 14, so I'm going to be very reserved and cautious about making such uh, such claims. But all I will say at the moment is that Higgins looks pretty good until now. Oh, the black just goes. He's got a little bit lucky there, goodness me. But incredible placement. And, and the balls, you know, they were put out quite nicely by us. And if we'd have took that red, maybe we would be the person in the situation. Now, I doubt we'd have been having such finesse around the black. That's just something that John Higgins and... The rest of the uh, the big the big players do, but again, no real uh, precision for us around the black. But he had to play a safety there. The reds didn't quite go; they would have hit one another. But how good's his safety? Not brilliant on this occasion, to be fair. There's a definite pot on here, <clears throat> and can we get back into this frame? Good pot hits the black on the way through, just to slow the ball down a bit. That's not going to harm us at all. But it is going to have to be the yellow here. I would take the pink, but because of how far we are behind in the frame. And because, to be fair, I just want to get a bit of potting practice on the board. I haven't played the game for a few days. So I think it's understandable we're taking the yellow one rather than the much trickier pink. But still plenty of reds on the table. You know, no problem with 
taking that yellow there. Puts in good enough position, and that red is no problem. It might have to be another yellow, though, here. Infuriatingly, because the where the red is, the black won't go. We could go for the brown, but then, to be fair, that's quite a risky shot, so oh, we're just going to be boring and go for the... For the uh, for the yellow again, but it doesn't matter as long as we keep potting reds. Then there's no problem with that. But oh, that could be nasty. Just had a hit on that uh, on the blue. Apologies about the dog barking again in the background. We're going to go for this red. It's not an easy one, and it could go wrong. But sometimes you've got to take these chances and take a chance. And that's a good pot. We'll just tap the black for good measure, and I think uh, we might not be. I'll have to have a look. No, it doesn't. doesn't quite go in the middle past that red, so that's a little bit of a shame. But it uh, gives half decent position for that pink into the top, uh, as well as the green. So, we're not again, we're not going to take much in the way of risk, and uh, we'll only have the green. But that's fine. You know, the position's not that fantastic, but we can make something out of this, I think. Probably. I say that and it's probably a little bit worse than I thought it would have been. So we either play across the cushion. Uh, we play a tight pot down there maybe. But again that's a little bit of a tricky one. I think it might be the turn of the safety. But uh, it is limited I think really. The... the uh, goodness me the dog's barking like mad. The... Uh, the effectiveness of the safety could be a bit limited. Might be wrong, it might come out brilliantly. Go on, behind the green, keep going, keep going, keep going. Again, a few percent harder would have been good there. But uh, I think he will get a red here. Oh, he's tracking on that one. We fancied that before, and that's a good pot from Higgins, to be fair. But I didn't fancy it earlier. And maybe our reluctance here could lose us the first frame. But that's fine, you know, as long as we win the next one, I think we've got to win the next frame. Or else, I, I know myself, my nerves will just become too much in that uh, third frame. And I think Higgins would win that one, so we have to win the next frame. Now, of course, it's not over yet, there's, no, there's still plenty of reds on the tail, but the way that John's taking these blacks certainly uh, doesn't help our cause. But he's uh, really buggered himself here a little bit. He's going to try and play safety, I suppose. It's not bad. But uh, not brilliant, it has to be said. I mean, there's a pot on here. And it could be the way back into the frame, who knows. It's half a chance, but a chance nonetheless. Oh, wow. No, not quite. It's just not meant Pretty to be, this frame. Down. It's really not. Any solace. Oh, classic uh, we're hand to hand and coming out with his comments about solace. No, it's not meant to be, obviously, for us, this frame. That was close, really close. Oh. As was the red we hit earlier that hit both jaws, and you could say a bit unlucky. You could say that's an excuse. Form your own opinion. But not the best way to start. Of course, we never we never thought it'd be a breeze against John Higgins. And considering our previous tournament record, it's a good. Um, really, it's been a good ride to get here. But we still got plenty of chance, so you know I'm not really worried. Again, we've lost one frame, but as long as we show a bit of guts in the next frame, that'll be important. But as I said earlier, I think to stay in this game, we really need to win the next frame. Or else it could be curtains for us very quickly in this semi-final. But John Higgins starting very well. As I said earlier, a good break builder. That's certainly what he's building now. And to be fair, he's been a, bit, a little bit unlucky. You know, he's been playing with good finesse around the black. Uh, okay, we're giving him a few opportunities, fair enough, but the way he's played, he's played very well, so it'll be tricky to keep up with him, and particularly because we're making the next break. If it's a bit of a howler, it could let Higgins in, and he could win it within one visit. But hey, let's not be so negative. It's going to be an half-decent break here from Higgins to start the match. Uh, it could be a... Uh, 67 break, he's dispatched the pink, and we'll watch the end to be fair to him, and that's a very good black and a very good way to start this semi-final. So 
So, now it's us to break off. And we're just going to play like we usually do. No point getting worried about playing our different way. At the end of the day, we play the way that we've played so far. That's the way that's got us to this semi-final. So it's no good playing any of it different. You know, the game's not any longer. So we haven't got to worry about that. This is quite... It annoys me a little bit. This is a very common safety shot that the AI play. Maybe too common for my liking. Oh, goodness me. Look at that. I mean, I know I was unlucky early, but look at that red. Blimey. I'm very tempted to try and clip that. All right, let's see if we can... I'm just trying to try and hit the red. I'm just worried about where the cue ball's going to go. Because if we pot the red, surely the cue ball will follow. So I'm not going to take that risk. Yeah, I think the cue ball would follow, wouldn't it? Let's be honest. Could be a risk. Could have been one worth taking. Who knows? Where's the cue ball? We're just about okay. But goodness me, that was... Uh, not the best safety shot, a few reds uh, developed, but he's going to play safe here unless he's trying to play this along the cushion. No, he's not, no. Another good safety. We can try and play a bit of a plant shot here. And this should come off. Again, it's nestled in the pocket, and there we go, a good shot. And of course, as is always the way, unless we get a little bit lucky here. We might have got lucky, I don't know. No, we have got lucky. That's 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 a stroke of luck and a half, that is. It really is. Right, got it. This with nice precision. He's playing the pot here. Well, and the black's there. Outstanding. Superb pot. Yes, Not really thought too much about position there, have we? No, we couldn't really make too much of position there. Go on, go on, go on. There we go. Just stayed quiet there. I always stayed quiet when it's a pot I'm not sure about because I don't want to get all cocky and start blazing about because it wouldn't be the way forward. But that's a good pink. Get into the middle. Yeah, all right, calm down. I wouldn't call it lat loose, though. I mean, position's still there. Whether we're just very much getting lucky with position is, again, something you can form your own argument on, but... We're doing okay. It'll have to be the blue this time, but the the, the the point of hitting the shots with some sort of power, I mean, we could go for the pink, I suppose, couldn't we? The point of hitting shots with some sort of power is that you can get out of the situation you're in. You know, if you hit it soft, then you do have a problem with position in terms of you might snooker yourself, and the reds are always very crowded in one area. Twenty-two. This will be a little bit tricky to queue off, but because we are playing a game... It's uh, not so much of a problem. Which I think is a little bit unfortunate. They don't really factor that in. As you can see, he's, tr he's using the rest here. And that should... Uh, I don't know. Potentially that should... Uh, is it the rest or the spot? I can't see. No, it is the rest he's playing with. Um, so, no, maybe should factor that in. Into f future additions. That, you know, maybe the accuracy of the shot's not so high. Because at the end of the day, hitting it off these structures. They're a little bit... Uh, that's amazing. Because we've moved the angle slightly, he's uh, not using the rest anymore. Let's just try this again. No, oh, odd, he's not using the rest anymore. Just more to thought, nah, you're alright. That's very weird. Hmm. Is this going to go? It is in the end, so we didn't need the rest. Oh, needed that to pull up, really. We could have gone for the blue, but... But no bother. Uh, we can actually still go for the blue. We're okay. Now, if this misses, this could be uh, quite impactful. Try and keep it straight. We don't want to play with any spin. Long pot. It's okay. I think. Right in the middle of the pocket. That'll do. This isn't a bad start to the frame. Again, John Higgins had a good break in the last frame. Could be us on this one. That uh, kiss on the red will help. Just slows the cue ball down a little bit. And that's uh, 
what we intend to do. Again, we could go for the blue, but is it worth it? He's aiming to sink this into the right corner. While 30 odds a half decent break, it's certainly not going to win you any frames. So we don't want to give up just yet with such a, what some may call a silly shot. Yeah, that should be fine. This will make it six reds in this break. That's a, great pot. That's a good pot. Wonderful shot. Now, I fancy playing for this pink here. I'm just going to check. Mm. Now, I'm going to play for the pink here. And if we miss, well, that's our problem. But I'm going to play for the pink. And it looks like it's fine. And it was worth it because we've got two reds that are available out of it. And this will make it. Seven reds and a 40 break. Again, not too shabby. And if this pulls up, I don't actually think the pink will go past the red. I might be wrong. No, the pink doesn't quite go past the red. That's a shame. Seems to be liking this green quite a bit in this break, don't we? Now, can he drop this into the right corner? I think that's going to be at least three or four that's greens we've potted so far today in this uh, in this frame. But the most important thing is that we're keeping John Higgins out. Only two greens, by me. It seems like so much more. He's playing for the right corner here. It's another, another red gone. I don't think that pink goes into the middle, unfortunately. 24. No, it won't quite. And I don't. I, well, I always overcompensate. I always say this when we get for. This on. Um, like if we went for the blue past the yellow, we'd overcompensate in terms of. Uh, the movement of the ball. But now this becomes a little bit tricky. Well, he's taking it on. Don't worry, I wasn't taking it on there. I was just having a look at the angle from there. Sometimes the angles look a little bit better from there, so that was the that was the science behind it. But I think if we miss this, we don't leave anything on uh, that's terribly easy, but we should be okay. Not the easiest of shots in the world, but we should be okay. I think it's one of them you'll know as soon as you hit it whether you're going to be accurate or not. Looks okay to me. Well We've played. middled it. Cracking. So this is a half decent break so far. Whether we can win it in uh, one visit, it uh, would be fantastic. I think it would be in one visit, wouldn't it? Because we haven't... Uh, I don't really want to start playing with side, to be honest, if I can help it. Because that's when things start getting a little bit dodgy. Should be fine, I think. Well, we'll soon know. Well, that's a 50 break now. Solid stuff. 53. Now. This is not easy. It's not easy, is it? No. I don't really fancy that ball into the top, and I have to say, playing a safety at this point would be well. A little bit daft, but I just, I just think for a cut that into the middle would be tight. And that, unfortunately, is a little bit too far away from the middle as well. No, that's touching, isn't it? So that won't get to the top. We'll give it a go. Because these shots are just freak shots. They can sometimes come off. So, no. No. We were quite a bit off in the end, actually. It hit the cushion. Well, it wasn't a half bad break, but if anyone can steal a frame, it's Higgins. But we had to take that chance. I couldn't really risk playing a safety. I don't think. But if there's anyone, as I said, that can steal a frame, it's the wizard, are we sure? And the way he stayed on this black really isn't encouraging. But luckily this time, I don't think he's going to get a... Well... Got away with that, hasn't he? Ah. Black's surely not on this time. No, it'd be pink instead. Oh dear, he's dropping one point. I think John could well steal this frame here. The reds aren't badly positioned. Yeah, he's uh, on the black again. It has to be said that this is impressive, but we've seen in other videos that frames look far and away, gone, the opponent's in such form, and then they miss something that's, well, weird.
A very peculiar shot. Now he's got to get above the red in terms of the table for this next shot. Like so. Or else he'd just be blocked by the green, uh, by the pink. He's aiming to sink this into the right. This is the last red on the table, so it will come all down to the colours. And if he takes, he's going to take yellow here, so he will be 11 behind with 27 remaining. So let's see if John can clear up here, and if he does clean up, well, that's the frame to John Higgins. And there'll be nothing we can do about it. We're hoping for a mistake from John, and that's the one we needed. Goodness me. John Higgins, That's a howler from the Wish of the Wish Shore. Could have really stole a frame there, in my opinion. But I'm not complaining. Green down. This isn't badly on the brown, I don't think. No, not at all. So we're 12 ahead with uh, the four balls left. So how many is that? So we've got four on the brown, nine, six, 22. So 12 ahead with 22 left. And this will put a 16 ahead with uh, 18 remaining. So the math suggests that we only need the blue. But how are we positioned for the blue? That's the question. If we miss this shot, Higgins will definitely clean up. And we've not really left an easy one on, have we? No. But we only need the blue, so we haven't got to worry about position so much. Just that should be fine. Looks like it's going to middle the pocket, and it's there. And with that, funnily enough, we've got very good position. So, unless there's a howler now, we will take that lead of Higgins and uh, bring it back level. Good frame, that was. Maybe one wouldn't have got away with that, uh, that red in some frames. But we have today in that frame... And after two frames, two very quick frames, actually, within the space of sort of about 20 minutes. So two very high-scoring frames, very quick. It is now one each. And it's Higgins to break once again. Yeah, as Hendon says, no advantage at the moment. I think Higgins has definitely been a better player. He's had a uh, chance to shine in both frames, whereas we haven't yet. And that is not a bad break-off. Fair play to Higgins. You won't want to overhit this. A little bit under hit perhaps, but it's fine because Oh, is it gonna be fine? I don't I think we're gonna leave this long red. Yeah. Could have done with playing that a little bit harder, coming off the cushion and being up in bulk, it's not quite there. But can Higgins get the first pot of the third frame? A little bit uh, soft for my liking, and is it gonna be there? It's gonna hit off the cushion and it's there. Well how much more precise do you want to get? And amazingly, he's not going for that. He's not going for the black. Well, he's got the position out of the blue, so fair play to him. But goodness me, he was perfect on the black. It was upsetting, in fact, he hadn't gone for the black there. But now he's uh, now he's struggling, and it's a safety from John. Has he covered this red? He has. I think he's covered everything here, which is a bit naff. John Higgins, 14. Johnny Higgins, 14. Higgins, 14. Wouldn't mind it in the yellow. That would certainly slow down the ball. Of course, leave this red on, but it's not an easy pot. No more than half a chance here. He's going for it. I think he's got it. <sighs> oh, that, that's about as unlucky as our pot earlier on in the in, earlier on the match that we missed. Where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball going? We're okay. That was a good pot, that was. But as I said, very unlucky there from Higgins not to pot that. One. But from what looked like a frame where we thought, oh dear, John's in now. It's uh, not so much like that anymore. Now, as I've said prior, we are experimenting with spin here. So we've got to hit it as hard as we uh, as we planned to or else the blue could go haywire. To the left corner. Luckily, we're okay. I think he's lost position here. Have we lost position? Six. Well, we have on that. That's dreadful. Have we lost position on this red? Oh dear. That's dr that's desperately unlucky. Really is. Neil Robertson. 
I think we're fine. Keep mindful of pace here. He really doesn't want to overhit this. Trying to get this to be touching ball, I think. Hit it a little bit that way. If he gets this right, it'll be a real tester for his opponent. It's touching ball now. Well, he's got so, if you don't know what touching shot. ball is, of course, it's touching the red. So, John's got to play away from the reds or else it'll be considered as a push shot. So, it's a foul. Where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball? It's fine. And we are going to be mad. We're, we're allowed one shot a match, aren't we? We're be a bit mad. And it's paid off. What a pot. Could that be crucial in deciding the frame and even the match? Well, we'll have to look at that at the end. But shots like that, I like. I like those sort of shots. Taking this on. No, we've missed it. We've missed the brown. No, oh, I could notice time. that. We rushed that. Miss, we rushed that shot. And I could see it from when it sort of passed the blue. I thought, no, this isn't going to make it. So, this oh, right dear. Corner. That's gutting. Just getting on our high horse a little bit too much yeah, after potting goes. that red. He's right on top of his game I'm missing a pretty much straight brown. Eight. Will John Higgins make us pay for that? I think he might do, Nine. based on the way he's played so far. Well. An unforced error. Well, well. John, John, John. That's a shocker. John Higgins. Nine. He'll play this with plenty of power. The split looks good to me. It was a shocker from Higgins. And we, hopefully, will make him pay. That's certainly the intention. And that's a good black. Of course, inherited from the uh, very close pot which he had. We've moved the pink out of the way. And uh, the black has to go on the pink spot. He's aiming for the left corner here. Of course, the black won't go. I'm aware of that. You can play the, uh, the blue or the pink. Nine. And this is where things get very awkward. I presume the uh, pink would go on the brown spot. Where's the brown? Oh, it's all the way down the table. So I presume, well, I don't, I might be wrong, but the pink might go on the black, uh, on the brown spot. Now. Excellent pot. Of course, we've got the blue on its spot. The black's on the pink spot. Yeah, it's gone on the brown spot. So bang on with that assumption. Could be a commentator in the future for getting things right. Certainly be more, ac more accurate than Virgo is sometimes. I'm gone. <laughs> uh, right, well, we like this new pink brown slash whatever it is, don't we? If only the pink was up here all the time, we'd be having a, an absolute ball. Of course, level on points now with Higgins in this frame, but that blue, uh, that pink has put us six points ahead. Twenty-two. And I said earlier, when. Oh, that's the phone. Every video of the phone goes off. Hopefully that doesn't pull us off now. This should be pretty straightforward. Mate, a breath walking up the stairs. Deary me. A bit unfit. <laughs> but uh, we've potted the red we were going for just before we went. 23. And uh, we look fine at the moment. And, uh, oh, that black doesn't quite go. Could have something a little bit more tricky here. I feel like just in that second frame, this blue could be crucial. Pots on, and he's going for it. Got to take it on, and it's there, cracker. Where's the cue ball, though? Where's the cue ball? Twenty-eight. Oh. No. The arm whispering all of a sudden. Oh, thank God for that. Well, we're going to play a swerve shot here. Oh, let's not get all technical with power. We just got it right. Right, we're going to hit it's the exact power, or else it won't go in. And that, ladies and gents, is not a bad swerve shot. It'd be even better if we got on the black, blimey. From my heart sinking, thinking, that's end of break. We're on a black. How things change, eh? 
Now things change. He's aiming to sink this into the right corner. Good pot. Well, an excellent pot. He's playing very I think this here. is our frame. I know I don't like speaking too early about these things, but I think we're playing really well. Being quite composed, okay, we've made one or two mistakes. I'll own up to those. But so far we've played pretty well, and this blue is nicely lined up. 37. But I have a little bit of top, not too much. Attempting to sink this into the left corner pocket. That'll do. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Want to be on this red, ideally, that's very much close to the black spot. And we are. We'll take that. Moves the break onto 43. That does. Tap the black. That doesn't hurt. Can't quite get on the black. I don't... I'm going to have a look, but I don't think we will. No, I can't quite get to the black, can we? So... Not for a pot anyway, so it'd be the blue. We like the blue, don't we? I think Neil Rob is Neil Rob I think Neil Robertson is a Chelsea fan, so we can get away with singing blue is the colour and not offending anyone. Now that's not the best queuing from us, going too focused on football. So But hopefully this red will go. It has good pot. The Browns will be very much ahead of action so far, but we might be able to pot that now, unless the black's on. I don't think the black is still on. We'll have a look. Uh, could go for the pink, I suppose. Because I think whatever we go for... Mm, now, I suppose we go for the brown, we can get the uh, the red into the, into the uh, middle pocket. So, just a, just a thought there. The thought that counts, isn't it? Justice Brown required now. Well, they said just the Brown for the frame. But of course, we all know that uh, John can get snookers. It's good forward planning that was. I was quite proud of that. In uh, thinking about that red. Good pot. Good strong pot. And we're now on for the black. And this black would very much secure the frame. And Higgins would not like that. The wizard of Wishaw. Good. Now the yellow's not on here. Not too fussed about that. Sixty-one. Well, I don't think we have. No, we're okay. That's fine then. There we go. With it the yellow. Surely not. I was about to say, blimey, if we got it in the pocket, but no. Funnily enough, as the the brown has ended. Oh, that's because. Oh, you idiot. Neil Robertson, of course, the brown had end on the uh, on the black spot, but from a very good break of over sixty, we are now three fr uh, sorry two frames to two uh, two frames to one up against the Wizard of Wishaw. And now it was our our turn to break. And funnily enough, uh, no, that's not. I was about to say in, in frames that we've uh, basically the the opposite player to who's broken off has won a frame. That's not true because we won the second and third frames. But a good reaction to going 1 0 down. You know, we're all a little bit in the blues. We're going, oh, no, no. But three very quick frames. Maybe the match might slow down a little bit now with what's at stake. We haven't had a serious safety battle yet. And it's clear we still won't because there's a red on. We haven't had to play much safety yet, but I think if uh, John had to play any safety, he wouldn't be in the best hands. He's not played very good safety so far. Yeah, we we might we might have gone for that uh, for that black, but yellow it is, and maybe get on this long red. He's aiming for the left corner here. But if all else fails, he can play a safety. Don't get snookered behind that. It could have been worse. It could have been worse. How could that have been worse? You tool! How could that have been worse? Honestly. Uh, how could, that, how could that have been worse? Explain to me how that could have been worse. Come on, Hendon, I want to hear you now. How the bloody hell could that have been worse? He just talk some crap at times. Careless, seven points given away. Well. Wrong ball hit there. It was the black. We hit. 
It's the red ball you want with the big long stick. <laughs> That's adapted from a John Virgo quote. It was originally it's the it's the white ball you want with the big long stick, but it's not so effective. I'm amazed really that uh, the wizard didn't uh, get us to play on, really. From uh, well, not play on, but to force us to yeah, force us to continue, of course. Um, from there, because bit of a bizarre shot, really. I'm surprised that he's. Uh, let us continue here, because he's, he's almost given us a get out of jail free. Now, I'm going to hit this a bit of a shot to nothing. And uh, we're glad that we did, because it didn't go in. And uh, again, we've left the cue ball pretty safe. No problems there. But I'm a little bit shocked at John's uh, acumen there, really. Again, should have really forced us to continue. I'm supposed that he might be thinking that we play very good safety. But uh, while his safety has been a bit suspect today, one thing that hasn't been suspect is John... Higgins potting quality fantastic but he went for the red he's now going for the green and let's see what John can do it was us who brought it back to one each we've got the lead for the first time in this match can we retain it well John's not going to win it in one visit because he's played a safety there and that is well rubbish a howler whatever whatever, whatever uh, adjective comes to you when you talk about a rubbish shot. That is exactly what that was. Rabbish. Absolute rabbish. But we'll play the blue. Right. Nice and soft. It's the idea. And then we can get in position for that red that's on the pocket on the right corner. Without being impeded by the black. And like that, we've done it. Très bien. That's French for very good. If you don't know your French. <laughs> oh, this cue ball needs to pretty much stay where it is. I think we'd be fine on the blue at that distance. This would put us in the lead of this frame, where arguably we don't deserve the lead. It's more down to Higgins' incompetence and uh, decisions. I'd, I never thought I'd say Higgins' incompetence. I mean, you know, he's, he's a very competent player. If you're watching this, John, I'm not... I'm not uh, disproving that by any sense but they're pleased with that shot whether it was the the pot of the blue whether it was the position I'm not really sure but we have got position on a red again which is nice to see and it's there good pot and now we're on the black we've been rewarded that's a wonderful wonderful pot a wonderful wonderful pot it's a wonderful life isn't it really Dave Hit this as hard as we can and try and get onto the into the pack. Plenty of power. That isn't too bad as long as we don't pop one of them. Not the best split. He'll be very disappointed even though hang on. No, I'm going to assess this. What are they on about? Not the best split even though there's one, two, maybe even three reds on. But apparently it's not the best split. Get your eyes tested, man. We'll go and miss it now, because he'll be right. But I don't understand that that can't be the one of, a good split if you've got three reds on. In what world, Dave, is it a good split? Because if it's we've got 27 reds on, that's never going to happen. Because, of course, okay, all the, all the fact-checkers of you in this crowd will be saying, Well, there's not 27 reds on the table. I'm well aware of that. Oh, the dog's barking again. Obviously, this proves us something I've said. I, know what a prolific long potter he is, so I do like to ramble a bit, don't I? I do like to ramble a bit, don't I, in these videos. I'm aware of that. And talk rubbish sometimes, you would argue. But that's the fun of it. As long as we're winning matches, eh? And we're doing very well here. We're certainly putting the uh, resources into place to do well here anyway. Respectable break. Keeping in position. And if we keep in position for a little while longer, I don't want to say too loud, we might be in the final. That flipping dog. Shut up, man. Right, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. I'd be a good parking attendant, wouldn't I? Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Yeah, I do talk rubbish. Right, here comes a black. 
Remember, all of our points have come from this visit so far. I, uh, I failed to see where our next bout of points will come from, though. That has to be said. Might be safety shot time here. Unfortunately. Pace is key. And he a shot that we haven't seen much of so far. Oh, bloody hell. That hit on the pink was suicidal. Could be suicidal for this frame. We haven't made many mistakes so far, but I think John will definitely take advantage from here. I might be wrong, I don't know. But that wasn't a very good shot at all. That's probably the hint, don't play a safety. Because it only goes wrong. Oh, well, 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 well. Not very wizardly there, was it, John? He belted that ball. But very frustrating, he hasn't really left anything on. Uh, is that going to the middle? Ooh, it's a tight one, isn't it? I think there's a little gap. Not an easy one, but a half chance. Yeah, I think it does go, to be fair. Well, soon find out. It's past that red, and it's in. John Higgins with that stupid... Well, way too hard, that was. All that John Higgins has maybe done here is given the game away. Certainly the frame, whether it have won the, the game overall is for you guys to decide. Just wants to sink this into the left corner pocket. But I have to say that was a little bit poor form from John Higgins. And how many points are we ahead? We've got a margin of 31. With this red, the margin will become 36. I fail to say we're going to get much position now. But hopefully, if all else fails, we play a half-decent safety shot. But all that matters to me is that we're getting points on the table. Very impressed, apparently, with our play. I wonder if we can sneak that red in. I don't think we can. No, not quite. So what I'm going to do is just play up to the left-hand side of this red. Because obviously, we, he can't then get to... Um, the other red, the other three reds, that's not going to make it, is it? Honestly, when we try and play safety, there's no point. There's no point. But then amazingly, John's playing on again from there. Will that be a mistake? Will he play a master stroke of a safety shot? He's hit the red. What's he done here? What's he done? What has he done? He hasn't left both of them on. No, he hasn't. <laughs> You're right there. You are right. So right there, Dave. There's not off. There's not many times I agree with David Hendon in commentary, but that well, time one, he's probably one that I do agree with. Didn't quite come off. That didn't. Oh, I thought we missed that. One. We haven't. Right, it's a tight pink. Maybe a more sensible green. Right. Just trying to make sure this goes in. This could be pivotal to the match in the frame. It's there. Good green. Now, I was aware we weren't really getting get fantastic position for our next shot. I was aware of that. Unless this red does go. I don't think it does, no. So it's going to have to be, again, a bit of a shot to nothing here, almost. Going to try not to pot the cue ball, but I think, unfortunately, to try and get Anywhere near a pot, we'd have to pot the cue ball. So, reluctantly, we just smash this. Not really the uh, ending we wanted. We wanted to hit it off the cushion and get it back up bulk. But now John Higgins has got another chance. Pressure getting to us a bit here. But these two reds on the cushion... Uh, not on the cushion, I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. It's, uh... Well, I think he's lost position here. But, uh, hmm, a little bit tricky. Of not this. Yeah, we should just... <laughs> wow. Goodness me. But he's missed the blue. He, needed some luck there and he, didn't get it. he needed... He definitely had some luck earlier, so we had his luck's worth. But all this confirms now 
is this that is the key shot. If, this goes if in, we pop this red, which we have, barring snookers, we are through to our first ranking event final. Take that in. Take it in. Breathe it in. Because we might not get to many more. <laughs> and the black's there. So we've got a margin of 36 points. Stop. Stop! Stop! Thank God for that. We've got a margin of 36 points. We've 27 to play for. An easy one, but a half chance. We're going to go for this yellow. It's a bit of a pot shot, but it's there. Well, that's just outstanding. Superb pot. And if we get the green, there is no way that John Higgins will come back to the table. He's looking to pop this into the left corner pocket. Oh, just missed the green. Is he going to come back, though? 38 behind, a margin... Of 25, he needs a number of snooks, and we've done well to guard the green. Is he going to come back to the table? Is that the final shot of the match? It is the final shot of the match! Oh my goodness me, the fairy tale does not end. The fairy tale really doesn't end. We have beaten John Higgins in the World Snooker International Championship semi-final, and we are now through to the final of the World Snooker International Championship. Oh my god. You know I wasn't expecting it against Kyron last episode. I sure as hell wasn't expecting it here. Wow. And we didn't even take it to a decider. John won the first frame. But from then we controlled things on the final. You know it's the most exciting speech of the 25 episodes so far. And you get interrupted. Should we start again? Right let's get into, let's get into gear. For the final. Of our first... Our, well, I mean, we're doing it wrong now. Come on, let's, let's get back into focus. For the final, our first ranking final of the season, we play the world champion. We play Judd Trump in a best of seven frames affair for the grand prize of £175,000. That'll certainly bump us up in the rankings a bit, won't it? Mm. Well, I think we've probably got... We've already earned seventy five grand for this tournament, so... Uh, 75, so that would be 25. So, 5, 8, 1 will be on. Um, will Kyron be on that much? I doubt, obviously, we took Kyron out. It'll certainly be close. But if 5k, it'll put us in a shot. Obviously, we won't be in 6 because Judd Trump's money will move as well, as well as Mark Allen, etc, etc. But uh, it'll make our ranking look a lot more tasty. So, in Friday's episode, we will play the final. The final, ladies and gents. The last, whatever you want to call it, the finale, the grand finale of the World Snooker International Challenge. Honestly, I didn't think I'd get here this early. I really didn't think I did. And I think we've had a very hard road to get here. So wouldn't it be fantastic if we'd win? We've had such a hard road to get here. Ken Doherty, Graham Dot, Jack Lazowski, Kyron Wilson, and most recently against Graham. At uh, Graham? Well, Graham Higgins, whatever. Against John Higgins. But in the final, it's a new challenge. The ace in the pack, the Juddenaut. It's Judd Trump. See you guys on Friday for the final. Whew.